what will be history underneath here. I don't necessarily have to activate my canvas, although I think that's a cool word. Um, what I like to do is just make sure that I have words and things underneath here that will inform me later and may become something else. So it's a good place to draw and to have fun. You know, I often put in little people and things that you guys never see. Sometimes they end up peeking through and uh, that's kind of fun. But right now I, I'm, I'm thinking of a smoky canvas. Uh, as I move on, it could change because I'm not locked. It's not a, it's not a particular project that I have to deal with. Uh, also, if I add a little bit of water to this, since it is a water-soluble pencil, which is the Lyra pencil, uh, graphite, and um, it will darken up. Now, water will move this. So if you really like uh, the pencil marks, you might want to put a little bit of spray, workable fixative on top. Um, I would suggest taking it outside to do that unless you're not sensitive to fumes. But um, I think for anybody's health, it's a good thing to do. Okay, so that darkens it up a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to try a completely different um, width of line. And this is a um, Montana marker, and it has a very broad, uh, wide nib. And I believe that it's called um, a, a 50 millimeter nib. I like the way that's, that's running there. So what I might do is, is uh, help it along by adding some of these. And this is fully acrylic paint. All right, so it's um, it's just as you know, it's the same thing as paint. Sometimes I just get the refills and I just work painting from the refills on these things. Uh, smaller, but um, yeah, I don't think it can really have too much history underneath. And uh, I enjoy that because then I start to lose and find things. I start to see things. And if I want to do something like a face or something recognizable, I will. But generally, uh, as an abstract expressionist, um, I will resist the urge to make it into something. You know how we all like to see something? Uh, we like to recognize something. So we search canvases and go, I see a this and I see a that. And, and you know, I think that's the beauty of abstract because um, the viewer can enter into it and uh, you know give it uh, give it the life that they want it to have it's like a wordless book did you ever see those books that come with just really nice pictures and uh, then you have to make up the story it uh, abstract paintings remind me of wordless books and uh, you can complete the story so what I was hoping is that I could get this to run a little bit. Um, but you can get thick and thin, thin lines with this. You can get really nice thin lines. And uh, I have to step back just a bit because uh, I can't see where I'm at here. Okay. And I'm going to put down here. And a lot of this may be here or matter later, but uh, I am going to try to bring some interest, interest to this. These reminders for me. Interest to this. I tend to do curvilinear lines 
I try to um, break up the monotony with horizontal and vertical. I don't do too much uh, diagonal unless I'm deliberate because diagonal really, really steals the show. So I'm gonna let that be for now. I'm gonna see if I spray any of it, if it's wet enough to get me some drips. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't, but right now it's just all fun and play for me to be able to enjoy the process of, of purely painting. And then I will sit back for a long time and look at this, um, it's not a monochrome, but it's a earth tone piece which I think, if I do anything, I might add some silvers and some golds to it, uh, beiges, but I think I want to keep it, uh, I like my really big paintings, which you know I don't do often, to, to be more subtle colors, because I, I mean, I love big paintings that are loud. Um, I just feel like, because of the size of it, I'm generally a small painting painter, um, that the size in itself uh, really can do the talking. So when I talk about size and shape and line, it it's also has to do with the expansiveness of um, the substrate, which in this case is um, canvas. Okay. Now I don't want trips everywhere. You know, and I don't want them starting from the same place either. So some of them I'll paint over, some of them I'll like, some I'll add, some I'll subtract, but at least I have uh, a lot of addition here and, uh, and then I'll be able to maybe flip it around and try uh, the process if I feel like it needs it of subtraction, which is always fun.